everybody, this is Teacher Amelia, and I wanted to take just a couple of minutes today to share with you how I use Google Slides. If you haven't heard, Google Slides is a tool that's a lot like PowerPoint, but it's all online, it's in the cloud. <clears throat> and so many teachers use Google Slides for props and rewards. Some use it exclusively, others mix in 2D and 3D props and rewards along with Google Slides, so it's totally up to you. If you're not familiar with it, there's really three key benefits to using Google Slides. Number one, and I think this is what may appeal to most people, it's so easy. There are, I would probably say, thousands of different rewards and props that exist out there that other teachers have created for lessons. And so you can quickly and easily look for a lesson number or a topic in a lesson and see if there's a Google Slide already created for that and there probably are several. So it's super, super easy. The second real benefit is it's very low clutter because everything you need is right on your computer or right on your phone. And so for those of you who are prop minimalists, um, it can be a really good solution. And uh, you don't have to worry about all the, the things that go along with traditional 2D or 3D uh, rewards. For those of you who travel, it can also be a really handy option because you don't have to worry about packing a lot of those things. Everything is, is in the cloud, so it's at your fingertips, literally. The third thing and why I like Google Slides so much is that it's customizable. It's customizable for the lesson, for your student, and so I actually like to create Google Slides when I have time to do it. And it's really a, a wonderful way to enhance the lesson. So I wanted to share with you two of the Google Slides rewards that I have created. Again, there's also a whole series of props that you can use with your lessons as well. But I'm going to share with you two different rewards and talk a little bit about how I use them. So the first one is one that I created about how animals move. And I'm going to answer the first question that most people have. They say, do you need to have any special software? And the answer is no. I use my phone. Now, I, I did a bad thing. Um, normally, I would have this already queued up before I even started so that I'm not looking down. When I'm with my student, I already have it ready to go. And so... Um, that's kind of the key so parents don't think you're down here texting and, and not engaging with their student. Um, but um, I have it on my phone, and as you can see, it's pretty clear just to hold up to the camera. And if you're in the, the PC app for VIP Kid, you can now switch the small window where your face is with the larger window where the PowerPoint is, so you can make it even bigger and clearer for them when they're picking a reward. And so this is my favorite type of reward, and it's uh, find a star. And so how I do this is a very simple, yay, good job, you get a number. What number do you want? And they can say the number, you can customize it and change the way you ask the question. So they have to answer in a certain way. So maybe one time you say, what number do you want? And they say, I want number one. Or what number would you like? I would like number two. So as your students get more advanced, you can, you can make this more advanced. So let's say they said number one. Number one. Now this is one that I made and I like to build in extension into my slides. So if you're rushed for time, you can just say, it's an eagle and be done with it. But if you've got a student who's flying through the material, you can ask them, how does an eagle move? And then have them answer and then you tap the screen, an eagle can glide. And then when you're finished, you tap the little green button, which I didn't do, right? But then it takes you back to the main screen. So um, within the 10 numbers, there are usually four or five stars hidden. Um, sometimes there's fewer, but uh, the idea is that this is a way that you can reward your in-class stars. And so if you were to pick number two, you get a star, yay, and you give them a star. Um, I also 
incorporate a 2D star with it. My go-to are my little dino stars. I didn't make these. They're so cute, though. Um, and I just, okay, you got a star. And so that way the students can see them. And it also helps me remember what numbers they picked. There are a handful of different Find a Star templates that are out there. So for your younger kids, there's one that has nine numbers. For your older ones, there's one that has, you know, the higher level numbers. And you could make your own and you could change the order if you really wanted them to work on numbers. And um, I keep those um, over here to the side. And then I just have four little magnets on the back. So it's real easy for me to, to throw it up there. And then my little stars have magnets, so I can throw those up there. And it works great. So that is my, my go-to uh, Google Slides reward. Um, the other one that I want to show you is one that I made and it's designed to go along with the interactive reward slides because I love those slides. Um, but I know that sometimes the students don't necessarily go in order or sometimes they pick more than one thing or sometimes they don't understand the drag and drop. So by having a Google slide that goes along with it, you can have a little more control over that interactive reward while still giving them the chance to participate on that slide. So this is one that may look familiar to some of you. The reward that's built in lets them build a house and add colors to a house one by one. Um, and so I basically have those colors and shapes here on the screen so that they can choose. And again, depending on the level of your student, you can extend by having them name the shape, name the color, or even name the part of the house. And so let's say that you went to your interactive rewards slide and they picked the pink roof. Then you touch the pink roof and it shows the roof go on and then it's got a cute little cartoon. And I have in this one, and then you just hit the, the green button and it'll go back to the main slide. Um, I do have some rewards built into this one uh, that are stars, but you don't have to. And so I think this is one with a star with a yellow window. Oh, maybe that one doesn't have a star. Uh, I know there's a couple in here. Maybe it's the green window. There's a star. You got a star. Yay. And if you do something like this and they don't find a star, then you can, oh, no star. Um, or if they get really upset, you can give them a star anyway. Um, at the end, I have it to where you can tap the house and it just shows the finished house and a little gif with the house that comes up. And so there's usually an instruction slide at the beginning of all of these. And so if you're using slides that somebody else built, just take a peek at those instructions to see if there's any special Easter eggs embedded, you know, added extensions that are built in or any tips. And also so you can plan, oh, does this give stars or do I need to also give stars? So there are so many things that you can do with Google Slides and so many different types of rewards for all types of kids, all ages. So I encourage you to join the Google Slides Facebook group. If you're interested in this, there's tons of tutorials out there and tons of information and tons and tons and tons of different types of rewards and props. So I hope you found this helpful and enjoyed the sneak peek into how I use Google Slides. And in the meantime, happy teaching and happy sliding. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.